Let's go back to the page that we already started. You'll recall from the earlier video. That is the My Phone page. Here it is. I'll save it real quick and I'll take a look at it in the browser um, by just dragging it in. All right. So you'll remember a pretty boring page. Um, and we've already done part of the grammar. Part of the grammar is that uh, HTML markup is made up of tags. And every tag, even tags that are sometimes called self-closing tags, have an opening and closing. And uh, because I'm using Notepad++, when I click on a tag, it actually tells me where it's closing. This has nothing to do with what shows up in the actual file, but it's a neat little helpful tool for me to make sure that all of my tags that are opened, in this case it's off to the side, you can't quite see it, but all the tags that are opened are closed. All right, so um, let's add in some new tags. You'll remember H1 is heading one. There's another tag, H2, which is the second heading. So I've added in a new tag, H2, which is a second level heading. Um, let's go back to the, to the browser real quick. And uh, I'll refresh. So note here I've saved, Alt, File, Saved. And then I go here and refresh, and I get the second level headings. Now, I don't want you to dwell too much on the fact that the H1s are big and H2s are smaller. Again, we're just letting the browser decide. What we're telling them is, I want this to be a second level heading, I want this to be a top level heading. We're not telling them how we want them to display it. We're just, at this point, trusting the browser to display it in a way that we hope is appropriate. So we've got H1, H2. You, if you guess that we can use H3, you'd be correct, and H4, and H5, and H6. Um, I don't think I've ever gone beyond H3 in any of my own coding, but I certainly have seen it out there. So we've got a number of heading values. So now we're up to, to well, if we count this as six, we're up to seven tags, which isn't bad. What other tags can we use? Well, let's say we wanted to emphasize that it's not just cool, but it's very cool. We can use the M for emphasis to do that. And let's say we wanted to strongly say that we were going to talk. So I've added strong here. So we've got emphasizing it and then saying something strongly, um, whatever that means. Now again, we're just relying on how the browser will interpret this. And in this case, you'll see that it's interpreting it as italics for emphasis and bold for strong. Uh, again, we don't want to get too hung up on this. There may be someone who is using a screen reader here that, that verbalizes this page, and it might say emphasize things in a very high voice and, and strong things in a very low voice. Honestly, I'm not sure how it interprets those things. But we have no way of knowing, and it's fine. Um, because, again, we leave it to the browser right now um, to figure... In fact, we will always leave it out to the browser to a certain extent to figure out how it should display this stuff. You probably guess what this is. Um, it says Q, which is for quote. So I want to put quotes around the word wow. Uh, there's already a problem here. This text is, un is sitting out there kind of just floating around. We can't have floating around text. It will probably work out OK, but we just can't have it. It's not proper. So to be proper, we need to make sure everything has some kind of a, a block around it. In this case, we want this to be a new paragraph. So we'll put a paragraph. So notice that. Also notice that we have now tags inside of tags. We'll talk about that in more detail later on, but the whole thing, the whole idea of HTML is to have tags inside of tags. Not only is that permitted, it's the only way you'll be able to make HTML work. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look in, in the browser again. We'll refresh, and you'll see that it's put not just quotes, but quotes. Uh, these are called sometimes smart quotes or sext quotes, that is not straight quotes, but actual curly quotes at the beginning and ending of this, which is great. All right. What if we wanted to use a longer quote? A couple of things to note here. We have a new tag, block quote. Block quote does probably what you expect. If you have block quotes in a book, it sets them off in, as an index in a new new chunk, and that's what it, I'm sorry, as an indent in a new chunk, and that's what block quote does here as well. Notice here that I have a page. I decided just to make it neat. 
um, so that I wasn't going off the end here. Uh, oh, you can't really see that. Hold on, let me uh, do it here instead so you can. I'm just putting a, a new line there. But remember from last time that white space doesn't matter. The fact that there's a new line there doesn't matter. In fact, these new lines don't matter either. I could put this whole thing on a single line and it would work out fine. We'll refresh. You'll see that that new line, which was after what's, doesn't show up there. But it does put this whole block, this page, page uh, the, the uh, block quote, in a new indented block. Now, again, with that white space, what it means is I can close this up and it will decide where things go. Um, where I put page breaks in the HTML has no, or where I put uh, line breaks in the HTML has no effect on um, how the browser actually interprets it and puts it on the page. All right, so let's go back here and I'm going to suggest that there are, um, there's some structural stuff that we need to add to the page so that we um, have basic structure. Every HTML page should start with the tag HTML. And of course, since every tag needs to be closed, it should end with HTML. All of the major content of the page shows up between these two. I'm also going to go ahead and um, indent stuff between it. I don't need to do this. Again, white space doesn't matter, but it makes it easier for me to see where it starts and where it ends. Again, in this text editor, I can see it because it puts a neat little line there and because it highlights it, but it's much easier to understand things if I can um, if I can indent and see the indent between and see very clearly where it starts and ends as a chunk. Inside of HTML, there are two sections. The head section, which always comes in front of the body section. Everything that shows up on the page itself shows up inside of body. The things inside of head, the head section are meta information, and it must include, at a minimum, the title. If you have nothing else in the head, that's fine, but you at least have to have a title. So, you know, it might be convenient to save off a, a something called start HTML that includes the head, the, the HTML tags, the head tags, the title tags, the body tags, because every single HTML page you ever create will have those things. Does it have an effect on the way things look when we view it in a browser? The truth is, not really. Nothing in here has actually changed. Uh, head and body and HTML don't actually render. It just makes it correct. Again, we're trying to be standards-based, and it can break things if you don't do it for some kinds of pages. It'll, it'll interpret it badly. But uh, for this page, it doesn't have an effect except to make us feel warm inside about following the standard, or at least getting closer to the standard. Notice that the title doesn't show up anywhere on the page. Title shows up in the tab right here, and it also shows up here um, in the in the uh, title bar. And you can't see it, but over here on my on my uh, down on the on the Windows bar where it says what what's open, it tells me that my phone is open. And also, if this gets searched by Google, it will show up on my phone. Again, a reminder. Nothing I'm doing today is actually uploaded. I haven't touched FTP. I'm just looking at it on my computer so far. If I wanted Google to see it, I'd have to go to FTP and upload it. But right now, I'm just looking at it locally. All right, so um, that gives you the basic structure of a page. We're still missing some important pieces, like images and links. But we'll have time to do that in the next segment. And I'll see you there.